How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the Crypto Gorilla. In our last video, we checked out Coinberry, a Canadian exchange for buying and selling Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stellar, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and we saw how you can earn up to $1,075 just by referring 30 friends. My referral code's in the description down below. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out Newton, another Canadian exchange that offers the same coins as Coinberry, plus a few extras. So if you haven't already signed up to Newton, be sure to check the referral code down in the description below and we'll each get $25 when you sign up and buy or sell at least $100 of crypto. So the way this video is gonna work, I'm gonna split it up into desktop and mobile app. So if you only care about the mobile app, be sure to check the timestamps down below. That way you can skip ahead and you don't have to listen to all the desktop explanations. So here we have the Newton website. It is a very good looking website. The colors, the animations, the illustrations, very nice. You can see here, XRP support has been resumed. They've had some trouble with a lot of their coins. If you plan on signing up, I suggest you follow their Twitter as they have a lot of updates. They're very vocal with their community on what's going on. And while you're at it, you might as well follow the Crypto Gorilla on Twitter. That is at Demchi, D3MCHI. It'll be in the description down below as well. So if we go to prices here, we can see that like Coinberry, like ShakePay, Newton charges a markup on your trades. The markup prices are variable, so they're changing every few seconds. And it also depends which currency you're using. So if you're trading from Canadian dollars, you'll see you have a 0.65, it just changed, a 0.59% markup fee. But if we scroll down here to Bitcoin to USDC, the stable coin, it'll be a 0.53. So you're saving 0.03% on that trade, unless oh, it just updated. So now you're saving even more. Just something to keep in mind when you're trading. We can also see that they offer the same six coins that you can get on Coinberry, but they also include Monero and some stable coins like USDC, Tether, and a Canadian stable coin, QCAD. So now that we've checked out the website, you can go ahead and log in or sign up. I've already signed up. The process is fairly simple. Username, email, password, and then you're gonna have to do the typical KYC, the know your customer steps. You're gonna have to provide identification, whether this be a driver's license or a passport. But overall, the flow of their signup is really great and it takes max five minutes. So once you're signed in, you're gonna land on this dashboard and here you'll have your net worth, you'll have your transaction history, you'll have a bit of market information. So in order to fund your account, you can just go to the right here and click fund. And then you'll have three options, e-transfer, wire transfer, or cryptocurrencies. So if you wanna do e-transfer, you would click here, you would enter the amount, then you would click send fund request. You just hit confirm, and then they're gonna send you an email with which email you need to send your e-transfer to, as well as a string of random numbers and letters you're gonna include in the message. If your bank requires you to have a question and answer, you just go here to the right settings, and then right here under e-transfer answer, this is where you'll find the answer for the question and answer portion if your bank requires it. The other way we could fund, which is what I did, is by sending crypto from another wallet to this wallet. So you would just click crypto, and then you could either generate a wallet code by picking the crypto of your choice, or down here you can just click generate QR code, that way you can just scan it from your phone, and it's much simpler. So back to our homepage, we can see our funds are now in our account. So we're gonna click all coins, and we're gonna decide which coin we're gonna buy. So for this video tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some Ethereum. You'll notice on the right side here, the limit order is still in beta. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a market order. Limit order would allow you to set a specific price. So if you don't wanna buy Ethereum over $4,000, you can put 3,900 and it won't buy the coin of your choice unless it hits your price point or goes under it. So for this trade, I'm gonna just click max for simplicity. You can see here, if I wanted to, I can just change the coin directly on this page. I'm gonna leave it to Ethereum. I'm gonna click review trade and then buy ETH. And just like that, I just bought 0.011 ETH. So now if we return to our dashboard, we can see I no longer have any Canadian currency. However, I have 0.011 ETH. Now, if I wanted to send cryptocurrency from this platform, you would click withdraw here. You can also do an e-transfer, a bank transfer, but what we're interested is crypto to wallet. Then you just enter the amount. You can either paste an address or you can do scan a QR code if you're on a mobile device. Then you would review the withdrawal, you would confirm it, and your crypto would be sent off to the wallet of your choice. So to sell, rather, you can either click on it or on the right here you can do trade. Here I'm gonna switch this, or first I'm gonna have to switch this to another coin. Then here I'd be able to pick ETH. And next I'd be able to pick Canadian dollars. I'm just gonna click max. And then once again, review trade, buy CAD. And just like that, I've sold my Ethereum 
four Canadian dollars. And that does it for the desktop portion. Now we're gonna move over to the mobile app. So now that we've logged into the mobile app, when you land, you're on your portfolio. If you click the other tab, you can see all the market prices. So if we wanna fund our wallet, we would click add some coins to your portfolio. And on the right, you have add funds. From here, you can do a wire transfer, you can do an e-transfer, or you can add crypto. If you were to click transfer, you would enter the amount, you would click send fund request. They would send you an email with an email to who you have to wire the transfer the money to, as well as a string of random numbers and letters that you're gonna input in the message of the transfer. If your bank requires a password, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the home screen and on the top right, you're gonna click the burger. And from there, you'll see your e-transfer answer. So you're gonna to need to input that in your e-transfer if your bank requires the question and answer, which I'm pretty sure most of them do. And then if you want to trade, you can either click add some coins to your portfolio, or you can click the two arrows on the bottom right, that big green button. We're going to go ahead and click that. And then I would like to trade, withdraw, add funds. We're going to stay on trade. Here we want to do CAD to Ethereum. So I'm going to hit the Bitcoin drop down, and I will just select Ethereum. And then from there, I could either manually input a number, or I can just for simplicity hit max. I'm going to hit max. You can see for my $46, I'm gonna get roughly 0.011 ETH. To go ahead with this trade, you're gonna to have to swipe the button to the right, from left to right. And then just like that, you just bought ETH. So from this screen, we can also do withdraw. And from here, we can either send an e-transfer, send a wire transfer, or send cryptocurrencies. If we were to click crypto to wallet, there we could select the coin we want. I only have ETH, so I'm gonna click ETH, and then I would click max. And then if we scroll, we can either paste an address or we can click scan QR code. And then with our mobile device, with the camera, we can just scan a wallet QR code. And it's much more convenient than typing in or copy pasting the code from another wallet. So to confirm this, you would just swipe the button at the bottom to the right and your, co your coins would be sent. The next thing we're going to do is sell our ETH. So I'm going to just click ETH or you can click the arrows at the bottom, but I'm going to click on ETH. And from here, you can check the market price of ETH over an hour, a day, three days, a month, a year. You can see things like the circulating supply, the market cap, today's high, today's low. You can also check out your activity, so your trading activity, what you bought at, what you sold at. But what we're gonna do is click the green button at the bottom, and then I would like to trade. So by default, it's going to be CAD to Ethereum. If you wanna swap this, just click the symbols of the Canadian dollar to Ethereum on the left side. It'll swap it for you. And then from there, we can just hit max. We're gonna swipe right to confirm. And just like that, we just sold our Ethereum. And that does it for today's tutorial on Newton. If you guys haven't already signed up, be sure to use the referral code down in the description below and we'll each get $25 when you spend at least $100. Leave me a comment down below on the exchange you want me to review next. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I wanna thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.